Hi folks, Jeff from OrangeMT.com and let's take a look at a classic piece of automobile history here and uh, this is a 1995 Subaru Legacy Wagon this is the wagon that started it all okay well there were some lag wagons that were before this um, but this one is the first year of this body style uh, the ones before it weren't bad either but when it comes to epically good Subarus uh, and making epically good reputation for themselves these are the best that they were, and they're probably the best that there ever will be. And uh, it would be great if they, somebody would just buy all the patents for this car and just start manufacturing them all over again. I doubt they conform to today's, uh, you know, environmental or safety standards because they've always been increasing over the years. But uh, you know, back then it, they were actually probably heavier back then than they are today. But they don't have the airbags and stuff, so. Good, uh, good solid car still, but uh, let's take a look at this one. This is a 1995, and what made this great was it had the 2.2 liter single cam, for H4 as they call it. It's not a V4, it's an H4. Um, and that means that the pistons go sideways, kind of like a Volkswagen engine, but in the front. And uh, the uh, 2.2s are a great engine. They were a non-interference engine. And that meant if you blew the timing belt on it, that it, you just put, towed it in, you had a new one put into it and away you went and uh, so they were not uh, later on they came out with a dual cam 2.2 H design and they were interference they had problems with head gaskets and rod knocks and all sorts of stuff and they actually remodeled the car they went back to this engine style and they redesigned their engine reverse engineering basically back to their old 2.2s but they were 2.5 then because they were a little bit bigger but uh, so yeah they were the, if you have a and the, the newer ones, we got one of those up there. It's a 2.5 uh, single cam, and it's a good engine, too. And uh, you can check those out as well uh, here on the lot. we got about five Subarus right now. And if you want to take a look at this one, come on up and check us out. Now, to tell you everything I know about it, it's a lot of miles. It's 285,000 miles. If you had a dollar for every mile you drove, you'd have $285,000, and you wouldn't be buying this car. But you're on a budget, and that's why you're buying this car. And you want a good car that, uh, you know, you don't want to throw away 30 grand on buying a new car and, and uh, turn around and have it uh, go down in value so much. And this one, it still runs and drives. It's a great car for taking the dogs out, you know, going camping in going hunting in and getting d decent gas mileage. It's an all-wheel drive. It is the Brighton model, which means it has hand crank windows. It doesn't have the power windows and locks, and I guess that's just one more thing not to go wrong. But it has gone wrong in this one because somebody broke the crank on it. So you can see it's got like a replacement hand crank over there. It came off like an Oldsmobile or something, but hey, it works. It, it, it looks fine, and uh, it's got seat covers on it, but the seats aren't too bad underneath. They're just wore with 280,000 miles on it. I mean, it's pretty pretty good condition missing the armrest cover and the center column there it's the very rare five speed uh missing the cigarette lighter also missing the cup holder and but those are things that you could get and replace the turn signals work um it looks like it might have an aftermarket switch there added i don't know what it's for oh i bet you those are for those big lights out front it's got some big big funky lights on the front of it it's uh reasonably quiet Let's see if the big funky lights work. Uh, one of them's working. It's yellow. Yellow is cool. It's got a good windshield. It's got some trim, uh, a rust around the trim of the windshield. There's the motor. You want to hear the motor? That's what the motor sounds like. So, if you want to check this out, or any of our 40 vehicles under $49.95. we got about five or six Subarus right there. Check us out at orangemt.com. Watch all the videos on our page. Yay! Or you can uh, and like us and share us on Facebook. We're orangemt.com on Facebook. Facebook.com slash orangemt.com. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with that one. But anyway, because there's no dot, second dot in the dot thing. So, yeah. And we're located 13 miles north of Missoula. We're open by appointment only. So that means if I'm not here, you can't give me money. And uh, But if you got the money and I am here, we can uh, take it for test drive. And I live here, so we're open 24 hours a day. If you got the money, I got the time. If you don't got the money, yeah, I don't got the time. So, But if you got the money today and you want to take it for a test drive, let us know. Thanks for tuning in. Three seven zero five four six six.